Candace Thomas was devastated when she learned her newborn son was deaf. When I first had Christopher, the day after he was born, they told me Christopher couldn't hear. And I was very hurt. And like, you know, most parents, you know, you want to have a so-called normal baby, a normal developing baby. And my baby wasn't. Hearing aids and therapy didn't help. So they decided to visit the cochlear implant program at University Hospital's Case Medical Center in Cleveland, Ohio, which treats both children and adults. Christopher, who was two at the time, was tabbed as an ideal candidate for a sequential bilateral cochlear implant. The cochlear implant is really for the one in a thousand children who are born deaf because of usually a genetic or some structural abnormality to the inner ear, and the cochlea, in essence, doesn't work. And so no matter how loud a hearing aid is given, they're not going to hear, and therefore they're not going to understand how to learn to speak, right? Um, the other group of people are people who had hearing or had some hearing, and then by virtue of the disorder that is germane to that person's ear, they lose the residual hearing over a period of time. The results from his first transplant have been amazing. With the help of the audiologists and therapists at University Hospital's Case Medical Center Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital, Christopher is now speaking, hearing, and thriving in preschool. Our patients are incredibly grateful uh, and their families for this technology and what it has offered to them and how it's changed their lives. And it's, it's just a privilege to be able to experience that with them and provide this level of care. Since the other night, Christopher grabbed both of my uh, cheeks and he said, I love your face, Mommy. And it was wonderful. And if my baby couldn't hear, he couldn't speak. And if he couldn't speak, he missed out on so many wonderful moments. And honestly, it's been by far one of the best decisions I've ever made for my son. You can learn more by watching a sequential bilateral cochlear implant on Tuesday, February 24th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Performed at University Hospital's Case Medical Center, Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital in Cleveland, Ohio. OR Live makes it easy for you to learn more. Just click on the Request Information button on your webcast screen and open the door to informed medical care. Thank you.